Hi everybody. So today we are at Ulta. I am with one of my very dear friends, Carrie, who is behind the camera. Hi. So today I need new stage makeup. So we are going to buy five items that I highly recommend everybody use for stage, high end and low end. So you're gonna get both. So come with me. Let's start with foundation. Now, the most important thing with stage makeup is we gotta have a foundation that sticks, that's gonna hold up under sweat, lights, all things. So I recommend a stick foundation. It's thicker, it's gonna hold the skin more, we are gonna powder it, but your best bet is with stick foundation. Fun fact, this is yes. the kind of thing they put on Elphaba. <gasps> From Wicked. From Wicked. Yes. They put pancake on her first, which we also did, but that's unnecessary for you guys. And then they green stick her to make her green. Low end brand, Ulta's own brand, does a really nice one. Let me show you. So you're gonna want, yeah, they come in tubes usually, and they, they're they gonna come in as a stick, and then you just blend. You can blend with a sponge, you can blend with your hand. Okay. Um, that's what we're going for. It's very, very thick, but that's what you want on stage. We're gonna fight the sweat. This is gonna hold up mm. better under sweat. Also, lights are really harsh. Right. And so a thin foundation is like, you might as well not be wearing any. You need something that's really, really, really high coverage. If, if sticks are not your thing, I would go for a high coverage matte, but I really highly recommend the sticks. Okay. Um, it's gonna give you your best bet and your best coverage. Okay. So Ulta does a really nice one. They're 14 bucks and they're moisturizing. So they're not gonna be too like cakey. Okay. Um, so that was what I would go for a lower brand, but high end brand. Hourglass does a really nice one. Again, they're real thick. Remember, you're not really gonna use this normally. Maybe you will, I don't know. These are much more pricey. There's a lot in here. Again, they're gonna come as sticks. And there you go, on real, real oh, thick. Oh, that's very, very thick. thick. Yeah. And tell me, when when did you first get introduced to stick foundations? Um, they put stick foundations foundations on us at New York City Ballet. When oh. you get in the company, at least when I was there, I'm not sure if they still do this, you get a makeup tutorial for your own, own face. So our makeup artist would take each of us and give us our products and give us our blueprint of like, he'd give us like four basic products and they would put stick foundations on us. Wow. Um, this is not the brand we use, but it was very, very similar. I love that. And this is the kind Can of we thing see again, they again? do. Look how, look how matte it is. You wow. basically just like mat mattify yourself. That's amazing. This is what they do to Alphaba in green. Okay, so good brand for stage makeup that is not very expensive is NYX, NYX, however you want to call it. The nice thing about them is they're really pigmented and that's what we're looking for. Their blushes are really good. So like, for example, this could be a good blush and a good, see how pigmented wow. they are? Yeah. That's what we're going for. Okay. And another good thing about this is it's matte. It's gonna hold up under the stage mm. lights. So it's not super glittery. It's not super glittery. Okay. Because you don't wanna look like you're sweating. Ah, there's so there's the rub. Don't use glitter, you look like you're sweating. Um, they have a lot of good colors. Uh, see, matte, this is what we want. A okay. cream powder blush, perfect. And it has a cute name, Sweet Cheeks. Sweet Cheeks. So my favorite brand of makeup across the board for stage is MAC. They put us in MAC all the time at New York City Ballet. I know we didn't talk about powder, but their powders are great to set that stick foundation. Yeah. Um, because they're also gonna be very, very highly pigmented and they do a lot of matte stuff at MAC. We love that. So you see they have all their bronzing powders, but their blushes, this is my favorite stage blush. It's a little bit shimmery, but it doesn't read glittery. They okay. have these like baked mineral ones that are really good, but they also have just their plain, look how pigmented this is. This is not a color I would pick, but they're highly, highly, highly. Oh wow, pigmented. that shows up a lot. Yeah. So these are really great, but this is the one I love. It's a little, it's buildable. Oh yeah. That's what I would pick. Mm -hmm. I would also pick a contour from here too. Like these are oh. amazing. You can get the, a, a good idea is like, for example, this might be the color I would use to powder. And then I might go three shades darker to contour. Okay. So you can, it's kind of one stop shopping. Yeah. Uh -huh. And how would you apply your blush differently for stage than every day? That's a big one. Okay. We don't want to get red cheeks. You're going to look red, like red face and sweaty. Right. You don't want to look like a doll. No. We're thinking 80s. Oh. So blush and contour blend together. See my stage makeup videos. But we're going here on stage, not here. Not apples. You want to leave this part of your face clean okay. for stage. 
because it will read red faced. Okay. So we want to go this way. Okay. So let's talk eyeshadow. Name of the game, again, for stage is highly pigmented. So I feel like there's a theme. There's a theme. Lights wash, like wash you out. So low end in here is Morphe. You get a huge bang for your buck. They have huge palettes for like nothing. So. Look at this, these huge palettes for 20 bucks. Oh, even like bigger palettes for 28 bucks. And you can pretty much get everything. This is something I would do for stage. Real neutral, browns are never wrong, especially for a nutcracker situation we've got coming up. Brown is never wrong. You can do a lot with it. It's gonna last you a really long it's time. Last you a really long time. I mean, look at this thing. It's humongous for 28 bucks. Okay, but you also get this really fun palette. Everyday chic. Look at the greens and blues. I'm I'm sorry. But I know the greens and blues are really. This cute. is really fun. I would, if you're a newbie starting out with stage makeup, or you're unsure of what to do, or you're unsure what your lighting is, I would avoid colors because it can do wonky things. Um, our makeup artist did purples on me for Juliet, but he knew what he was doing. It reads really young. But I would avoid, if you want to like, well, you're starting out, avoid crazy color and go for the neutral. Okay, fine. I actually am getting one of these. Today I'm going to get the Magic Mirror palette because look at it. I mean, hello. So let's go to our high-end brand. Again, MAC wouldn't be wrong. The problem with MAC is that they come individually, which could be good for some people. But if we're talking about a palette... You kind of can't beat Urban Decay on their eyeshadows. Okay. I mean, the Naked palettes are pretty, like, they're cult classic. Like, just people are obsessed with them. They have big palettes, and they also have these little ones. Oh. I really like this little one, Naked Basics. You're going to kind of get a mid-price mid, mid price range. Okay, but less, eyeshadow, but less eyeshadow, But less eyeshadow, yes. But this is a really good basic palette, matte. Um, they just have a lot of different options. They also have their singles over there. So let's say there's a an eyeshadow that like that it doesn't exist in your palette. You can also come over here and buy the individual. Although per your advice, probably stay palette. away from those blues and yeah, this is probably not gonna work. <laughs> Fourth item is really gonna be two in one, and I'm not gonna give you a high end or a low brand because eyelashes and mascara are vital for stage. So I couldn't decide between the two, so I'm gonna give you both. Bonus. <laughs> you guys are so lucky. You don't even I keep know. going back and forth across the store. <laughs> We're getting our steps in today, y'all. <laughs> so let's talk lashes first. Okay. Then I'm going to tell you mascara. Fail safe for stage. Um, are any of these like multi packs with like eight in them? Because you can always wear two on top of each other. Ooh, like sandwiches. Like sandwiches. Because. Let's face it, this might not even, this could be thick enough for some people, but it might not be. So you can always wear two on one eye. I do that all the time. Oh. So I would recommend getting these cheap ones at stage. No one cares. Cheap ones in a pack of 10 or eight or something like that. And if they're not big enough, wear them on top of each other. For mascara, I feel like they put us in this all the time for stage. Maybelline Great Lash. It's oh, all classic. It's iconic. It's iconic. You can't go wrong. It's like nine bucks. Okay. Thicker the better. Don't be afraid if it clumps on, in your, it doesn't matter, right? Okay. Thick, thick, thick. But how do you use this with the fake eyelashes? I put mascara on first. Oh. Let it dry a little bit. Okay. Stick the lashes on, and then if you want to kind of like seamlessly blend them, go back over it with mascara. Oh. It'll like seamlessly. Okay. Last one. Lipstick. Low end is L'Oreal. They have, <laughs> I mean, hello. <laughs> they have oh my. everything you could possibly want. They're 11 bucks, and you can pretty much get any color. Oh my gosh, this keeps going. You can't test. That's that's one of the things with Drawback. drugstore makeup. It's fine, great, it works, but you can't test it. Okay. So, but these are great. These are highly, highly, highly pigmented. I love these. I have a bunch of these. So then finally, for lips. Once again, we are back at the MAC counter. Mm. You're kind of, again, you're one-stop shopping here. Like, it's made for performance. They've got the eyeshadow. They've got the individual eyeshadow. They've got the mascara. They've got colored matte. they got everything. 
but nobody beats their lipsticks, in my opinion. For example, we have two diff very, very, very different reds. Uh huh. Colors in general are either warm or cool. Warm is yellow based, cool is blue based. So these two reds would not work on the same people. Or under the same or lights. Or under the same lights. Okay. So come in closer, Carrie. There's our yellow, our yellow based red. Okay. So red, but it's warm. And which one is this that? This is Lady Danger. Okay. And this one is Russian red. Ooh. See how, see the major, major, major They're difference. Very different. So the other thing though, is then you'll sometimes get a more neutral red, which is in between. Oh. This one is chili. Okay. So here's what I would do. You have to test them. Which red do you think I should buy for my skin tone? Oh, definitely not the top one. No. It's too orange. This one. Yeah. Because this one looks actually red on me. On you. These mm -hmm. two look orange and brown. Mm. Uh-huh. So I'm gonna buy, because I'm cool based skin, I'm gonna buy this one. Okay. However, the thing you have to watch out for is I would not go any cooler than this because while this is Diva, while I can take a berry tone under, it looks, still looks ish, red-ish. It looks purple. Under blue lighting, a la Swan Lake or Snowflakes, that's going to turn purple on yeah. the face. Yep. Well, it's almost purple now. So we're gonna stick to somewhere in this vicinity to look true red under stage lights. Yes, that makes sense. You have to remember we're under stage lights. Right. We're not like walking around outside. Mm -hmm. We're under stage mm -hmm. lights. Hence why, like you talked about at SAB, they just sent you to the makeup person right. for a whole palette because... Right. And then he would even say, he would come back and say, mm, guys, the lighting's blue. I need you an orange lipstick. Mm. And we'd Orange like, oh, lipstick. Okay. So we'd go more like this. For swans, you're more like this. Wow. So, now you guys, Giselle, we're getting, doesn't, Giselle doesn't matter because everybody's dead, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting real back. We're getting real, backstage we're stuff. Getting backstage stuff. So that is that is how I would come and choose a red. Okay. You have to test it. Now, okay. let's say you don't want to pay the MAC price. Come over here, find a red that's similar. Oh, sneaky, I like it. So I hope you enjoyed shopping at Ulta with me today. Let me know if you like this kind of videos and I will do more of them. Leave me a comment in the box below. Love you guys. See you next time.